My guest at this time is the one and only lawyer of lawyers, the authority in pro wrestling. He is the one and only Clarence Mason. How you doing? How you doing today? I'm good, man. Is it, great to, is it great to be here with all the legends? Hey, let me tell you something. This is, um, I, I guess I'm telling myself, I'm a mark for the business. It is good to be here and to see all these legends of not only yesterday, but of today. It's a great thing, man. Real, real good. Glad to be here. Do you have a funny Owen Hart rib, a story from Owen and all we can share? No, nah, not so much as that. Owen was just a, was a good guy, a talent that was just left here way, way too soon. I mean, he he never took things too seriously, you know what I mean? Um, he always had a fun side of him. In fact, I mean, I guess the problem with him was he, he was too much fun, but um, but yeah. not a bad way. Yeah. It was it was a good thing. It was a good thing because you know, a lot of things can happen in the locker room and can get you down and get you, you know, but no, not him. He never let that kind of stuff get to him. He always stayed above that. And if, and if ribs was the best way he could do, you know, go about doing that, he did what he needed to do. Good thing. He took care of business. Oh, yeah, man. Who was somebody that helped you out the most in your career when you were in the business? Um, well, let me actually go back. Be, be, uh, instead of saying in the business before, uh, the person that got me in the business was Ernie the Cat Lad. He was the man. Um, he made it all possible. He arranged the connections. And, um, and it was pretty much a done deal once he got involved in it. And I, I was, will be forever and always grateful for what he did. Was so sorry to hear that he passed away. Had to stop what I was doing. Flew out to Louisiana to his funeral because I had to pay respects to the man because he was the one that did it for me. WCW with Harlem Heat. What was that experience like with Ahmed Johnson as well when he had, uh, was it uh, T. Biggs or? Jay Biggs. Jay Biggs. Let me tell you something. You know, Jay Biggs had a good time. Jay Biggs, um, it was like a seven, eight month run. And that's when new management came in with Russo and those fellas. But um, it was a good, good run. I enjoyed my time there. Um, was at the point of signing a, a long term contract. But that's like I said, when the new, um, when new management came in. And that just wasn't the direction that they wanted to go in. And, um, and uh, hey, not necessarily in their best interest because surely they have the country folded. So there you go, the company folded. So had they gone ahead and they signed Jay Biggs that long-term contract, that company would still be afloat, they'd still be solvent, they'd still be making money, and they wouldn't be down in the crapper where they are right now. That is why WCW went under. Wow. We heard the exclusive right here. I want to thank you so much. One of the legends here at the <laughs> New England Hall of Fame Fan Fest, the one and only Clarence Mason. You got it, baby.